No, I grew up playing guitar. Uh, and when the thing with Strung Out came along, they had a, I had an opportunity to, jo to join the band playing bass. And I, I never really thought back in the day I'd ever be playing bass in a band. So behold, it happened. And it was actually the best thing for me. Here I am now with the bass coming out crazy. I decided to make something that's really cool that I like to play, but pretty much also something that I want to give to the fans or all of Strung Out and also to give to people, just, just to any average bass player that wants to buy a bass. Something that's as simple, practical, and just plays awesome. Well, this one, I, I kind of modeled after my 57 uh, reissue bass I have, and I kind of took it off from that look. I'm like, you know what, I've always, I like that mirrored pickguard, I like the white body, but something I've always loved is like, was that 70s looking, uh, the 70s jazz look of, of inlays, a big block inlays. I wanted, you know, just to go with something more retro looking, you know, that was different than the average bass you'd see, like, at a guitar center or someone playing. Yeah, this is the pickguard I went with, you know, I kind of just modeled it after Steve Harris's pickguard from Iron Maiden. It was something different, you know, like, you see tons of, Black, uh, black or white pickguards or tortoise looking ones, you know. It was cool, it's different, you know, so I just went with something very vain, so. <laughs> yeah, the logo right here we have, a, it's the Strung Out's uh, famous logo, it's called the Astrolux is what we call it. It's, it's our take on like the science atom. It became a very popular figure in our, in our band and stuff where people, all, all our fans around the world, we have like definitely have, you know, a lot of incredible fans we have around the world and they have this tattoo. It's really crazy how that this came so synonymous with our band, so people see that. So that's why I think it's cool. I didn't want to make it such a strung out looking bass, like putting the logo here or writing the logo, the strung out logo here. I wanted to make it just a cool, you know, simple looking bass that looks cool, but then the fans will, will know what that is. But the other guy will walk in and be like, oh, cool, a, a biology bass or a science bass? What is this? You know, like, you won't know what it is. So, but really, it's a strung out bass. But yeah, I've been playing it for a while. You know, I've taken it to Australia, Japan, Canada, U.S. I've taken it everywhere, and it, man, it plays awesome. So, you know, when I when I first got the bass, you know, months ago, it was definitely like the big part of like, oh my gosh. I mean, I think the next level of, of sheer excitement, or me walking in, into like a guitar center or some store and seeing it on the wall, uh, it's it's a huge honor to me, and it's I'm I'm just trying to take it as I can take it every day today. So when I when I do see that, when I do see some kid, like I'll, I'll definitely I'll be stalking all guitar centers with a hoodie and. Glass is just like, you want to try the bass over there? Well, yeah, what's that bass? And like, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be doing it, so don't worry. I'll, when it happens, I'll film it. Like, I'll be the little creeper guy in the shadows, like, filming some kid walk out with the bass. <laughs>